Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video and in today's video we are back with yet again another unboxing and so this is part two of the Christmas unboxing uh, so if you haven't seen uh, the um, the part one of Christmas unboxing this these are all the models that I got um, uh, and I did say that there was one more model that I uh, I could get but it wasn't sure and so I actually managed to get it um, and so in today's unboxing, we are going to unbox the Ryanair 737-800 made by Phoenix Models. Um, so I am extremely happy to actually have a Ryanair. I know the actual airline in real life is terrible, uh, but still I am extremely happy. And the model does look absolutely insane. So obviously I have already opened it because it, there were Christmas presents. Um, but yeah, so um, here is the model. Uh, and it looks absolutely amazing. Uh, so this will be my second 737-800. Um, and, uh, and yes, I'm really happy to uh, to have this model. And we are now going to go into a detailed review of the model. Okay, so starting off the model review. Uh, now this, um, this video will be um, a lot shorter than the usual um, uh, unboxings. Because uh, the boxes are already out of like the... Uh, cardboard box that they usually come in uh, so I just have to open basically the box that the model is in um, so yeah so the, the the video is a lot shorter um, but yeah but so starting off right here we have got the classic um, 737 windows with the um, again the classic like nose and then right here we've got the L1 door and the L2 door way at the back over there then we have got the Ryanair um, uh, the Ryanair branding right here um, with this, so this is basically their logo. And um, then we have got the like really nice blue with the with the yellow line, and that kind of goes like a wave. I really like that. Uh, then it's also in that Europe white livery. Um, then here we have got the classic like a uh, seven three seven engines that actually are like they're flat at the bottom. And then we've got the winglets, so they are um, dark blue on the outside with um, the Ryanair branding written in white. And then on the inside, they're white with the Ryanair branding um, in white. Uh, in uh, dark blue, sorry. Uh, then right here, we have got the, um, uh, so the, the, the rear wing, the rear wing, sorry. Uh, with uh, So it's filled up in blue and there is the uh, logo of Ryanair in yellow. Uh, we also do have a bunch of detail uh, around the, uh, the antennas and everything. Um, and now taking a look at the underside of the aircraft, and as you can see, there is actually a lot of detail. Um, so obviously antennas and everything. Um, so yeah, so uh, overall it is an extremely good model. Oh yeah, and the registration for this model is um, Golf uh, Romeo Uniform Kilo Alpha. Uh, so this is actually a Ryanair that's registered uh, in Great Britain, so that means that it's uh, based in Stansted. Because Ryanair are actually a um, a um, Irish airline, um, but some of them are actually based in London Stansted, and so this is one of them. Um, well, I believe that's what I think. I'm not sure if that's in reality, but that's what I think. Um, and so yes, yeah, so I want to thank you for watching this video. It is really short. There is just one model uh, unboxing, uh, but it's still a model to add to the collection, and it is a model that I've been looking for for quite a while. Um, because, as you may recall, um, in uh, last uh, July or August, I did say that I wanted to get an EasyJet and a Ryanair. Because they are nearly the only models that Herper don't make. Um, and so, yeah, so I finally got uh, an EasyJet model and a Ryanair model. So I am extremely happy. So um, I will be doing the um, airport update relatively soon. I do, ne I do need to get a bunch of... Um, uh, a bunch of um, a bunch of more information on uh, on some routes um, from so London Heathrow to the reality because I usually base my airport updates out of all of the departures of London Heathrow uh, and so for example so for EasyJet I base it off of London Gatwick and Ryanair I'll base it off of um, London Stansted or maybe just a fictional but we'll see. Uh, so yeah, so the airport update will be coming soon. I was just waiting for this model before I actually make the airport update. Uh, and yeah, and I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.